guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to use VMware version 5 on a on Mountain Lion and to install Windows 8 64-bit. Uh, so what you want to do first is go to uh, VMware, start it up. Once you start it up, you want to see, um, go to the plus sign up here, click New, and continue without a disk. It's going to ask you, you want to use an operating system based on an installation disk or an image or use an existing virtual disk or create a vir custom virtual machine. I already have the um, ISO for Windows 8 64-bit here on my desktop, so I'm just going to go ahead and double-click this. It's going to pull down a drop-down menu asking me to find the a particular file. I'm going to go ahead and select it, hit open. Once I hit open, hit the continue button. Once that's done, you want to make sure the operating system states Microsoft Windows and the version, of course, you want it to be Windows 8 x 64-bit. Hit continue. Once you continue, it's going to uh, pretty much summarize uh, the guest operating system, how much memory you're going to give it, uh, <clears throat> the disk size, which is 60 gigs, uh, networking, and the CD and the DVD, where it is. Um, go ahead and hit customize. You want to go ahead and save the uh, VM machine. Um, I'm going to keep it as Windows 8 x64, but you guys can change it to whatever you want. Go ahead and click save. And it's going to bring up a um, a customized window right here for you. Uh, typically, what I do is I go to display. Once the display is on, I go ahead and make sure the Accelerate 3D graphics is on. Um, go back to my main screen again. Uh, go to the hard disk. Um, I usually don't want to keep it at 60. Um, try to give it maybe 25 gigs, um, unless you're going to be doing anything else on that particular uh, uh, virtual disk. I doubt it, uh, but this works pretty good. And you want to go ahead and apply. Once it applies, you want to go back and just make sure it's there. Of course, it's there. Then you want to go to <clears throat> your processors and memory. Um, I have a dual core machine uh, on my iMac. I'm going to keep it at one core, but if you see, if I go to two cores, it's going to give me a prompt on the bottom where it says the virtual machine is configured to use all of the processor cores available on your Mac. This can cause slow performance so just keep I keep it at one unless of course you have more than one core processors here it says the recommended size is 1024 typically Windows 8 64-bit will run better anything above 2 gigs of RAM so I'm gonna go ahead and give it 2500 uh, megabytes and go ahead and go and click the back button once that's done uh, just verify the network adapter I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to um, share the uh, network connection with my Mac it's the easiest thing to do. Um, and go back. Once you do that, uh, you can go ahead and close this window and hit the startup key right here. Once that's done starting up, it's going to go ahead and start installing the <coughs> Windows operating system onto the Mac. And we're just going to wait for it to continue with the process. And once that's uh, pretty much done, you're going to get a Windows setup uh, menu. Here you want to uh, tell it what language to install. Of course, I'm going to choose English, but you can choose whatever you want from the drop down menu here. Um, hit next and click the install button. And it's going to tell you that setup is starting. And you want to enter the product key. Um, that's the key that you got when you uh, bought Windows 8. Um, I'm going to do that now. and then hit the next button. And then you're gonna be shown the Microsoft software uh, license agreement. Go ahead and read through that and then accept the terms and conditions, hit next. Then you get the um, <clears throat> window set up where it says, which type of installation do you want? I typically do custom installation. Uh, so I'm not updating uh, Windows 7 on it and make sure the drive uh, with the online display space is selected and hit next. That's pretty much what it's going to do is uh, start setting up that hard drive um, partition uh, for Windows 8.
So it completed the uh, setup process. Windows 8 in uh, VMware restarted itself and it's stalling further uh, packs. And it finally came up again. So now it's going to ask you for your PC name. So you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it uh, all right, and we're going to customize it. So you can customize it with any color that you want: blue, red, orange. Um, I'm going to go with this color here. Hit next. Um, with the express settings, you want to go ahead and use express settings here. Um, email address: put in your email address here. Hit next. <clears throat> Checking with the Microsoft. Okay. Uh, put your email address and password in there for your uh, Microsoft account. Add security. I don't. I just let it leave it blank. <coughs> And it's going to create an account for you. And it's going to start to finalize all your settings. And it's going to show you uh, certain ways to use Windows. It's going to go through some uh, diagrams, illustrations on how to swipe. Um, if you have a touch screen uh, PC, Alright, and finally, Windows 8 is now installed in VMware.